Look at the items in most vending machines out there and you'll see lots of sweet candy and salty chips. But my next guest has started a company to give people healthier options. I'm joined right now by Nick Yates. Nick is the founder of Fresh Healthy Vending International. Nick, thanks for coming in. Thanks, George. Thanks Where are you for from? having me. Where are you from? I'm originally from Sydney, Australia. Oh, great. Yes. great. Glad to have you here in San Diego. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about the company. I kind of laid out what it is, but give me a little bit more explanation. Uh, we are originally a, a health food vending franchise and um, I just recently became a healthy vending operator also. Um, we're based out of San Diego. Uh, we have about 215 franchisees around the country. Mm -hmm. um, and we're currently operating in San Diego about 50 healthy vending machines in a variety of different locations. What, what kind of locations are you shooting for? Um, predominantly with the vending machines, we're looking to operate in schools. Um, schools are the most in need of healthy vending machines, um, and they happen to be the most profitable locations for the company as well. Hmm. Um, we also place machines in corporate office environments, community centers, shopping malls, health clubs, hospitals, um, you name it, anywhere where there's a uh, foot traffic and people looking for healthy items. You know, and I think most people are, Nick, looking for healthier items out there. I think they, they would quest for that. But, you know, you look at any typical vending machine and they might have one item down in the corner over there and then it's right. M&Ms and everything else on there. So exactly. this is meant to be uh, a, a variety of choices for healthier items, right? In, indeed. Most traditional vending machines are filled with uh, junk food, as you know, the yeah. Cokes and Pepsis of the world. Um, we take a very extreme approach um, to our healthy vending machines. There is nothing that's not good for you um, in the machines. And most of the snacks um, you, you will find uh, don't have any aspartanes or high fructose corn syrups or the, uh, the, the types of ingredients you would find in unhealthy products. All right, we, you brought some samples with you, so maybe just pick one or two of them. Oh, and look, give I us did. This, this is a popular product. This is a product called Pirate's Booty. Sure. Um, we sell a lot of this in schools. Um, young kids are, um, are fairly, um, you know, enticed by it's the product. They, they, they love item, it. Right? It's, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, and I brought some pop chips along. This is probably always a, popular. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're popped, they're not baked or fried, um, <laughs> amongst some, some other fruit bars, um, some juices. Um, and so forth. So the drink options are there instead of the the, the, the highly carbonated drinks, right? That, that's right. And we, we have about 6,000 products um, that, that our franchisees and our own company can choose from. Um, and we also vend a range of perishable products. So 100% so cold pressed juices, smoothies, um, even fresh fruits and and you know carrot sticks or celery sticks in a vending machine, we also offer all of them. That takes a, a totally different type of vending machine, right? It does. It takes a health and safety regulated vending machine um, that, that is uh, dual climate controlled, mm -hmm. um, meaning that we can vend a range of perishable products down the bottom of the machine and at the same time ambient temperature products like chips at the top. Are, are those in use right now? Are you getting those out there? We, they are. We've always, um, we've always used that equipment since we started. So we've been operating for about uh, four years now, um, and we've been using that equipment since we started. Isn't there a coffee machine in, 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 as well? Um, we have a coffee machine, yeah. It's an organic <laughs> coffee machine that, yeah. also, that also sells a range of healthy snacks underneath it. Um, and, and that's really more for a corporate office environment than anything else. I always ask this, this question to people like yourselves, and you know, you could be doing this business from anywhere. You could be That's doing right. it from Australia, you could do it anyway. Why are you in San Diego? Um, actually, I, I started the business in Australia, um, and you know, just through uh, various research, um, saw that the, the governments uh, over here in the US were making a lot of changes in regards to um, wellness and health, um, especially in the schools. Um, Australia is a small place compared to, <laughs> to you guys, so sure. I think the size of our country is um, less than the size of California. Um, so it was a natural progression for me to sell my business in Australia, come over here. Um, I launched the first um, healthy vending company in the US, um, and we are the market leader today. We've have got the most machines out there right now. You bring up a really good point, and that's the fact that, that government is stepping into the snack food business. That's right. Explain that a little bit. Um, just there's two items that I can discuss. The first is um, smart snacks in school, which was recently um, introduced by the Obama administration through the Department of Agriculture. And that is basically, um, th they, are, they are saying to, to, to schools, there is no more junk food to be sold in cafeterias or through vending machines. Um, and they put policies in place wow. to make sure that by July of this year, um, there is no more junk food in schools. Oh. So that's fantastic. And they're pushing f um, through the Department of Agriculture also the uh, Labeling Act, which they're um, trying to enforce right now. I'm not too sure if it will come off or not, but mm -hmm. they're talking about um, have mandating the labeling of calorie counts on 
different products sold in vending machines and on menus in cafeterias and restaurants. Mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, obviously would benefit this type of product it's, in many it's, cases. It's perfect for us. We, we, we like it. We support it. Now give me your long-term plans. What are you guys looking at? Um, we, like I said, we're a franchise also. We're going to continue franchising. Um, our main focus right now is to build our corporate operations um, here in San Diego, especially we're looking to um, grow as many healthy vending machines um, and related products and services throughout the community. Um, and we're about to launch a new um, program. It's, um, it's a little bit different to a vending machine. It's called a micro market. And what that is, it's a, a micro market is a, a small uh, checkout, oh. uh, self checkout station that uh -huh. sits in a break room of a corporate environment. Um, and we can vend salads and sandwiches, smoothies and yogurts, ideas. a whole lot of different products, um, kind of like a mini Whole Foods <laughs> for, for your office. Perfect. Um, so, so we're focusing on operating as many of those as possible and introducing it as a franchise product uh, also. We'll watch for that, Nick. Thanks Very for coming good. in All today. Right. Enjoy talking with me, you. George. Thanks so okay. much. Bye-bye.